Looks like I'm not going to have much for the auction this time. I, I was going to nap after the videos yesterday. But I haven't felt like napping, actually. Uh, I was going to nap on video, I mean. I did do some napping after that last video. That piece that was down in here, the first one, part one, I reduced down. Uh, part two, the piece from part two is not uh, reduced down. What I think I'll do is I'll just offer this as one of the bifaces that I'm going to sell this auction in a box of brokes and bifaces. I'll just offer it like this. Um, I got some brokes from earlier that I'll include in the box. Yeah, I'll sell this one separately. I had to take a lot of it off because there were a lot of defects in the stone and I, it's still a little steppy. I was not able to get all the step fractures out of it. I had to take off quite a bit from one side because that line of chalk that ran through it. I don't know if you remember. Anyway, I will offer that separately. I was napping some dacite thinking I always think dacite is going to be really nice to nap. And it is for the smaller points. But it's an acquired taste. For sure. Because that, that really hurt there. I'll just offer that in the box. And uh, this one is... Yeah, it's some of this Ocala chert as well. Yeah, and I snapped this one. Flint snapper. Okay, so that's that's all the napping I've been doing, right? That's the I think that's it. I haven't been doing much else. I rewrap this every morning, or no, I mean every night. I need to after this video or this series of videos, I'm gonna rewrap this. It's healing up pretty good, so I should be able to have an enough for the next auction reasonable amount if i don't if i don't burn out and not feel like napping like i did this time anyway when am i going to start napping place your bets i don't know i never know i got a new video editing software for my phone So I can cut out all the yip yap in the mid, in the beginning if I want to. I can do voiceovers. I can more easily join video together. I can see if the videos are upside down or right side up easily. It's weird that uh, it depends on how I orient my phone, whether or not the video is right side up or upside down when it's processing in my old video editing software for my phone it looked okay to begin with but no you don't find out it's messed up until after the processing is done what good is that so i got myself some new video editing software for the phone and i'm excited Of course, to, to spoil the fun, I lost a little fuzzy thing off my microphone. So now, if I'm going to be talking into the microphone, there's a lot of wind or breathy noises. Yeah. Oh, well. It's Sunday, so the church bells are going to be ringing. In case you're wondering what that is. It's not a fire. It's not a gathering. It's a church bell. Okay. 
I don't think the neighbor's going to be mowing or doing yard work today, hopefully. It's starting to cool down. My favorite time of year is the fall when it starts to cool down. Maybe I'll feel like napping. Okay. Maybe I'll feel happy and feel nappy. Yeah, what am I doing now? What am I gonna make? I don't know. And uh, you guys that don't read the titles to videos, you just click on thumbnails. Don't peek. Let it be a surprise. Try not to look. So you won't know what this is gonna be. If you like surprises, It doesn't work that way. Oh well. Oh well, you guys are too smart for me. Inquisitive minds want to know. You're too inquisitive. I got a curve in the flake. I got a big old curve. Not so much on this side, but a lot on that side, so. What's the solution? Take off some of this side. But then this side, if I preserve it, it's got a booger in there. I don't know what that is. What is it? It's a thorn in my side. Pain in my sassafras. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? When I was little, I used to make sassafras tea. I think it grows wild out here. I think it's wild. Who knows? It might be just escaped. Escaped into the wilderness. But anyway. I used to make sassafras tea. And when I tell people about it, they're like, what? What is sassafras tea? I guess you got to be old to know what that is. I don't uh, drink it anymore. I gave up on a lot of plants I don't eat very many plants anymore change my diet oh yes and uh, found out that I do have food allergies because what if I try to eat them again once in a while I get all uh, bowel irritated yeah Stomach aches and bloating and stupid stuff. Yeah, I can't have my apple pies no more. Not that I really crave them a lot, but it would be nice. I just had some coffee this morning and my, my tongue's already rough. So I have a reaction to coffee as well. Didn't even know. I mean, I must have just gotten used to it over time. I used to drink coffee all day at work. Of course, I used to feel terrible at work all day. Coffee didn't really help. Then I would have little cookies and stuff for snacks and all that at my desk. No one cares what you eat at your desk if you're if you got a desk job. They don't care, just as long as you don't. Put the crumbs in the keyboard. Just keep everything clean. Yeah. No. Oh. I don't even want to think about that because that was miserable. 
easy job inside air conditioning most of the time but sedentary and highly stressful do not mix and yeah I could I could go down to the park outside we had a park outside in most cases very nice area for employees to walk around in you can get a, a gym membership and go work out during lunch nice places around very nice gyms usually within five minutes from wherever I worked but there's something about exercise and desk work that doesn't really mix it gets you out of the groove you got something you're working on there's a deadline and you go and exercise and stuff you kind of forget your brain get, gets reset you know, you, you're you get back to your desk and you're like okay where was I what was I doing oh yeah I got a list here to work off of dang it I'm all I'm all now in a different world I mean I'm, I got I got treadmill head I can't work right now I just got off the treadmill I'm geared up for exercising so yeah you just skip it skip it yeah just if I want a boost of energy I'll just have an energy drink yeah don't do it boys and girls do not do it goodness gracious I ruined myself on those Okay, where was I? This is sedentary, the flint napping. Yeah, but it's more of a sport than, uh, than anything else. It's just a very sedentary sport. But if I go exercise or if I walk around town or if I do something, if I need to go pick up something on the trail, like, wait a second, I just... Uh, Broke one of my hammer stones. I can go down the trail. It's only like 10 minutes away. Pick up some more. Come back and I still feel like flint napping. Yeah. It's cool. It's good. I get to hit stuff. It's, it's, um, uh, it's not like pushing a mouse around on a tablet. We used to have these digitizer or digitized tablets or I don't know what they're called. On some of my jobs, I had a, a tablet for drafting and it had like a grid on the, on, the, on the side. Instead of a mouse pad, you had a tablet thing and you drag your cursor. I don't know what it is. What do they call it? I don't even remember what they call it. There's a device with the little crosshairs and you just maneuver it on the grid and it corresponds to where you are on the drawing. And it's extremely finely tuned, so it, it's not like a, a mouse where the cursor just goes zzz, 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 really fast and you have to adjust the speed to get it to just right. You have to adjust the speed on this digitizer thing, but or this tablet, but it was you can move it more in more of a fine, very precise way. Anyway, that was cool, but. It's sedentary. It's not like napping. It's a whole different mindset. Yeah. Whole different type of sedentary. This is sedentary, but it's a whole different ball game. It is fatiguing. After uh, after an hour or two of this, of napping, I gotta get up and stretch and um, I've gotta get up and take a break. Whereas I could do drafting straight for four hours. Yeah, I would have to get up and stretch and stuff, but it's not the same. 
Anyway, what am I gonna make? You'll have to wait. Don't look at the title yet. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know if I want to sell this one, but I don't have anything else available to sell. So I'm gonna have to. Whatever this comes out to be. Whatever this ends up being. Now I wish I could make four times as many small ones as I do the large ones. Because then it would even out. Even that these sell for very little. If I could make these four times faster it would be alright. But I can't. They're, they take about the same amount of time. Sometimes longer because the notching on these things can be grueling. Notching on the small points can be grueling. It's not an easy thing. You don't want to be getting your preform all perfect and then start notching and snap it in half or snap off a barb. All that time spent. You say, well, that's only a little bit of stone. Yeah, it's a little bit of stone, but it's time consuming. Anyway. Oops. Anyway, my new video software, getting back to our previously scheduled programming. My video software allows me to voice over easily. I mean, it's amazing how easy it is to do a voiceover. So I might start doing them. Oh yeah. Make it easier for me on the trail. Or walking around. I just do a video of myself walking around. And then voiceover. Yeah. So what is this flaker? You may be asking. Especially you guys in Bangladesh. Bangladeshians have been watching my videos a lot. It's just a nail. I had to I had to drive it down in just a second ago because it starts to get loose. But this is just a nail. One of those big old spike nails, I think. Yeah, it's a big old spike type nail. Got one on the other side too for pressure flaking. Although I don't like I don't like having this combination tool because it catches on the other side. It catches over here on the side. On the side over here. Messes me up. Anyway. It's a nail. Doing indirect percussion. It's just rounded off on the sander over there. Out of view now because I'm zoomed in. But you guys have probably seen this indirect percussion on the small arrowheads so many times that you're you're sitting there and you're watching a movie at the same time. And you got four people you're chatting with. So you're watching this video, you got four people you're chatting with and you're watching a movie and it's all at the same time. And you're still bored. Yeah. I know, I know. I know how it is. Oh yeah, and you're at work too. Well, it's Sunday, you're not at work. Most of you anyway. I was on salary, so sometimes I'd, sit at, I'd be sitting at my desk Sunday morning. Trying to finish something up before Monday. I know how it is. Do I want to go back to that? <sighs> Pays really good. But no, no, no. I do not want to go back to it. I'm only semi-retired. I can go back anytime I want. But I don't want. No, no, no. I was looking at some videos yesterday. Or all week. I've been watching videos all week. Oh, yes. If I'm not napping, I'm watching videos. I was watching some videos. 
I'm trying to learn uh, more about primitive skills stuff. What did I see the other day? That was that I didn't even know. I had no idea. I saw something and now I forgot. Now I gotta go back into my likes. Which videos did I hit the like button? Which ones did I hit? Let me think, let me think. See, I'm, tr I'm uh, trying to access my memory at the same time I'm working on this tip. I don't want to break off the tip. I'll think of it in a second. How big is this? Do I have a tape measure? Two and a quarter by a little over an inch. Yeah, I usually end up with, this is about the size of a hunting point for an arrow. It's way too thick here at the bottom, but it's about the, it's about the right size for a preform for a hunting point. Oh, yeah, I already forgot what I was going to say about the video I just recently watched that had a primitive skill that I had no idea. Hmm. I think it had something to do with working clay. Oh, wait a second. I know what it was. It was a, a, a kiln for heating up glass and uh, melting glass in the microwave oven. You can buy this thing, and I bought one. It's like a heat trap, and you stick it in the microwave with glass inside of it. It's like, they call it a kiln, but it, it, it's just a piece of, it's a ceramic little container. You stick it in the microwave oven, and it traps the heat from the microwave so much that it'll melt glass it's like a heat trap but they call it a kiln but you stick it in your microwave in regular microwave yeah i got one i couldn't resist so now i'm going to be melting glass and i don't like working glass i hate it no i don't hate it i hate the little shards i'm going to be Napping dark glass and dark obsidian and trying to do dacite. I'm, I'm debating whether or not to buy more of this stuff. But it, it crushes so easily on the edges. I mean, it's ridiculous how easily it crushes. Especially with the steel. It's a whole different flavor of napping. Yeah, it's a, it's ridiculously difficult to avoid the crushing on the dacite. Now that I'm so used to working tough stone and having to hit tough stone with very tough tools, you go to dacite and you're like, wait a second, wait a second. This is crushing everything. Everything is getting crushed. And I thought it'd be nice to nap for a change. But no. Nope. Not nice. It's not nice to you. It doesn't like you. That side does not like you. No, no, no. There are some stones that like you. They don't mind getting beat over the head. They'll take the abuse because they like you. <laughs> this one's pretty good. This type of stone... Except for the little defects, I can get used to it. I can get used to napping this a lot. Now, if it ends up snapping on me when it starts to get really thin, then I'm going to get upset. And I'm going to say, ah, it's not a good stone. Where's my horn stone? Where is it? I'm out of it. Dang it. 
I'm out of all my stone. All I got is little flakes. I don't even have good flakes. Not that I'm... Not that I'm not getting some. I have a lot on order. So don't worry about me. I'll get my flakes. I'll get my frosted flakes some way. Oh yes. There's a commercial. Gotta have my pops. Sugar pops. Gotta have my flakes. Frosted flakes. Yep. What's a frosted flake? You know the flakes that have the cortex that looks like sugar? Yeah, those are frosted flakes. Really? <laughs> okay, I'll show you. See this? This is a frosted flake. Frosted flake. It's got that cortex. It looks like sugar. Big old flake. That's a frosted flake. Oh gosh, I gotta transfer over to pressure flaking. That's when this cut starts to hurt. Right? It did yesterday, maybe it won't today. I banged up against something yesterday. Oh yeah, I hit. I was pressure flaking and I hit that area. But maybe not today. Maybe it won't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gosh, I'm out of practice. Yep, yep, yep. I'm using copper? Oh, yeah. Copper, copper. I gotta get back into the swing of using copper. I started using other metals because some people were saying, ah, you can't use that. Aluminum doesn't work. Well, aluminum is the new black. Oh, yeah. Aluminum is the new black. And I think it works on that side. Pretty good. It's my opinion. That's my opinion. I need to be, I need to make a set of aluminum tools to work my dacite because I found a bunch of it one of my buddies sent me a bunch of dacite and I had it stashed away in the rock challenge bin I found it this week as I was reorganizing a bunch of my stuff I said you know what I can nap dacite and it'll be such a nice easy thing yeah don't worry I fall for that stuff too oh yes I forget. You know, I sleep a couple of days and I forget everything and everything's just rosy and peachy. The flint napping is a piece of cake. Easy peasy. All I need to do is switch the stone and then flint napping will be easy peasy. Yep. All I need to do is heat treat the stone and the flint napping will be a breeze. Oh yeah. I fall for that too. I start thinking that because that's what I want the reality to be. And then I start napping and I get slapped. Reality slaps you out of nowhere. Just psh, what? Where'd that come from? What is it? What did I do? What is it? Oh yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Forgot my manners, so I get slapped. <laughs> yeah, people are waking up around here. I'm trying to start napping early in the morning. They say the testosterone is higher in the morning. I'm not a morning person, so guess what? I don't think it works for me. I'm not a morning person. 
Although I, I just couldn't sleep this morning. So I got up, started doing stuff. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake in getting myself coffee. We'll see how it goes. You know, hopefully I don't get a stomach ache. So far so good. Yeah, if I need caffeine, I just take caffeine pills nowadays. Yeah. Much safer. Much safer on the old stomach. All right, this, I gotta wind down this video. Can you see what I'm doing? Trying to get rid of some of that nasty area. There it is. Yeah, if I want to make these points quicker, I just make them thicker. Remember? Remember the saying? If you want to make them quicker, just make them thicker. Once you start thinning them way down, it takes you forever. To get it right. Yeah. But. They look oh so nice if you can do it. If you can get them thinned down. Although I'm, I'm probably not going to thin this all the way down. I'm just going to leave it a little bit hefty. It's still too thick for. Uh, for the finished point. But this is good preform. Alright, so that's it for this episode. On to the next one.